future you exist to empower the next generation to create a future that enlivens and fulfills them. On April 11th, we brought together over 500 high school students from across Sydney and six speakers who have consciously designed their lives, from entrepreneurs to a professional wingsuit coach. 70% of students said the event was profoundly transformative on how they view their future. Future U was originally created by Samuel Hamrosi as a Team Sydney game. The technology of the Team Management Leadership Program was essential to the success of the event with a team of over 30 people. Now it's time to go global. 20 summits across the world in the next six months. A global leadership team. One million conversations on living a life by design. Want your city in? Let's play. Joy and laughter filled the room as young adults with learning difficulties took on Mini Bridge, a strategy card game, and they had so much fun. 16 students are developing their maths and social skills at the same time. Our team consists of members of the bridge playing community, friends who live in the area, teachers at the school and the English Bridge Union. There is now the possibility in the world for this group of students to play with all students at the Schools Bridge Congress next March. The Team Management and Leadership Programme has enabled me to work with a team in a new way by enabling me to give up fixed views of the way I thought things ought to be done. Game on! Dream of creating jungles in less time. First time taken by creating a dense forest by planting 1250 plants of 50 different varieties in 4000 square feet area. A unique way by which jungles can be created in few years to combat increasing pollution and depleting water levels. Where police department, municipal corporation, forest department, philanthropist and NGO collaborated together. During my participation in team management and leadership program, I broke many barriers of accepting and creating teams of being of faction. For creating jungles in drought prone area of Aurangabad, the city with the world heritage sites like Arjunta and Alura Caves, many historical places which are deteriorating with pollution and depleting water levels. It will continue to create the jungle of 500 acres in Marathwada by 2025. Thank you. Consensus est un jeu pour créer une grande famille de 7 milliards de personnes pour gagner ensemble. Enjoy! Voulez-vous contribuer à la paix dans le monde? Nous aussi, et nous croyons fermement à la possibilité d'y arriver tous ensemble. Selon nous, la paix dans le monde passe par une révolution des processus de communication dans le but de créer un consensus. Imaginez si vous aviez un moyen rapide et efficace d'arriver à une entente gagnant-gagnant avec les gens dans toutes les sphères de votre vie. Les applications sont infinies. Travail, politique, famille, enfants, école, sport d'équipe et plus encore. Alors, qui veut jouer? J'aurais jamais cru que je pourrais faire un consensus de même parce que habituellement, je suis beaucoup dans la confrontation à forcer un résultat chez l'autre. Donc, je suis très contente. On a fait un consensus. Imaginez ce qu'on peut créer dans le monde avec ça. Consensus est un jeu où tout le monde gagne. Gagnons ensemble. Qui veut jouer? I'm driving down the road and I'm in awe of the clouds in the sky. I tell my kids to look up 
My youngest son, Avit, spoke with yearning and concern. Mom, I can't see the clouds. Immediately, I pulled into the nearest parking lot and began writing. Cotton, candy, clouds. In that moment, I got that if my visually impaired son was going to experience the world, I was going to be the one that gave him that gift. In just 25 days, I was physically holding in my hands a children's book, Cotton Candy Clouds. My family and I had so much fun joining together to raise the money to have the first edition printed. We created a social media contest to fund the Kickstarter campaign. In just 24 days, 49 backers from across the United States bought books or donated to the campaign. We raised $3,000 six days before our goal. My vision to give the blind and visually impaired opportunity and experiences that sighted people have lights up the world with connection and joy. The team management and leadership program showed me that I can create an adult life that is lit up, joyful, and peaceful, filled with childlike giddiness every single day. Veintiocho millones de familias en América Latina son pequeños y medianos productores agrícolas. Lo que producen no les alcanza para vivir. Nosotros somos una contribución notable al desarrollo de sus vidas. Efectividad, amor y equipo es lo que hace posible que millones de pequeños productores en América Latina produzcan y no deban abandonar su lugar en el mundo. 60 hectáreas, 2.314 toneladas de frutas produciendo hoy. 120 hectáreas ya sembradas, el futuro logrado. 120 personas produciendo en sus tierras, sus hijos en el colegio, creando una vida extraordinaria. Nuestro equipo es interdisciplinario. Trabajadores de la tierra, agrónomos, arquitectos, profesores, informáticos, fotógrafos. Todos ellos personas comprometidas a estar parados por las otras personas. Lo que se hizo disponible es que el poder de nuestra palabra puso en relación a millones de pequeños y medianos productores a lo largo de todo un continente. Hello, this is Arian from Team Melbourne. I normally work in an office, but as I walk through the city today, I'm thinking what would be a joyful and audacious game to play. In the team management and leadership program, I created the Great Cosplay Race. I created a team of people committed to enabling people to be playful and free in public spaces. On the day, 12 people Three teams dressed up in costume ran through Melbourne competing against each other. Onlookers watched, laughed and participated as the teams roamed the streets of Melbourne. The 12 participants in the Great Cosplay Race got to express themselves through costumes in a playful and unpredictable way. I got to see the difference I make in the world when I create an opportunity for people to express their passion and the excitement that that creates. I'm surrounded by 20 children, witnessing a 12-year-old leading and teaching a three-year-old student a word-building activity. I'm amazed and hopeful for the future of our world. Empowering children at an early age of three, what would our world look like? Children's World Foundation is implementing this education into existing schools and building new schools. Through the team, management, and leadership program, I share my vision with intention and cause opportunities for action. We created a partnership with a community in Cambodia to fund a new school for 200 students. Our commitment is to raise $150,000 by September 2019. Our team contributes to our fundraising events through sharing on social media and networking events, marketing, and planning. Through our team car washes, 
galas, and hiking trips, we've already raised $20,000. Our plan is to expand in Peru and India, impacting 1,000 children by the end of 2020. Children's World Foundation, educating children with empowerment and unity. Incredible.